Hello and welcome to another edition of Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk, a show designed around answering your questions quickly and accurately. I'm Greg Peasel, and today we will be taking you through the basic setup to your new professional wind speed weather station. So, let's go! Before we get started, if you are viewing this video on YouTube, I want to direct your attention to the description below. Here you will find the times and descriptions to each of the steps that will be covered. Simply by clicking the blue highlighted time, you will jump ahead to that spot in this video. These work great if you're looking to find information on something specific. I should note, however, that if you're viewing this on a mobile device such as a phone or tablet, you will need to drag the red playhead to these times listed. But otherwise, just sit back and learn as we take you through each step of the setup process. Step 1. Insert two new C batteries into the wind sensor by grabbing the vented portion and turning counterclockwise to remove the cover. After the batteries are inserted, this then gets replaced by carefully realigning the battery cover with the vented portion of the sensor and turning clockwise. Step 2. Power up the weather station by inserting three new AA batteries, according to polarity, into the back of it. Step 3. Check your sensor's connection. The outdoor temperature, humidity, and wind information should show up within the first three minutes. This means the dashes will turn into numbers on screen. And after which, we recommend keeping the sensor within 5 to 10 feet from the station for at least 15 minutes before moving it outside. This helps the station and sensor sync properly and ensures a strong connection. For step 4, we will be taking you through your settings menu. To enter the settings menu, press and hold the set button for about 3 seconds, or until the beep on off setting begins flashing on screen. Once in the settings menu, you will use the plus or minus button to adjust the values, and the set button again to confirm your adjustments and move to the next item in the settings menu. I should also point out that if you would like to exit the settings menu at any time, simply press and release the warning button on top of the unit. This will save any changes you make and bring you back to the main screen. So here's the order in which the settings menu will follow. First is the beep on off setting. The default is on, meaning you will hear a beep for every button push. To change this to off, you will need to press and release either the plus or minus button. To confirm this selection, press and release the set button. Next will be your hour setting. It's about 3.30 p.m. here, so using the plus button, I will move the hour to 3, making sure the AM symbol turns off and the PM symbol turns on. Now that I'm at 3 p.m., I will press and release the set button again to jump to the minute selection. Here I will press and hold the plus button now to make the numbers climb rapidly. This also works in the opposite direction with the minus button. Once I reach 30 minutes, I will once again press and release the set button. This then brings us to setting 4, where we can select between 12 and 24 hour time. I will go with 12 hour and make this my selection by pressing and releasing the set button. Next is your year setting. It's currently 2017, so I'll confirm this with the press and release of the set button. Then comes the month option. Today is March 11th, so I will move the month to MAR for March, confirm this, and then move the following date number here to the 11th confirming this once again with the set button. The eighth setting here is the Fahrenheit or Celsius temperature reading option. The default is Fahrenheit, but once again you can easily change this with the plus or minus button. I will, however, stick with Fahrenheit and make this my selection by pressing the set button. And finally, the last setting option lets you choose how you would like your wind speed displayed, in miles per hour or kilometers per hour. I'll stick with the default miles per hour and make this my selection with one final press and release of the set button. This will bring us back to the main screen and keep all of the changes we have made. Now that your station settings are good to go and you've waited the 15 minutes for the sensor and station to sync properly, let's show you how to mount the wind sensor. For the most accurate wind speed readings, you will want to mount this sensor in an open area and as the highest object for 50 feet in all directions. Attach it to your own mounting pole with screws through the holes in the cylindrical opening on the bottom. This pole should be no larger than 1 and 3 16 inch in diameter. This is also where you would connect the included mounting bracket for installation onto a flat surface. 
The construction of this bracket allows you to mount the sensor from the bottom or from the side. Simply attach it to a flat surface with four screws through the holes on the bottom. But most importantly, make sure the sensor is secure and mounted level for accurate wind speed readings. The maximum wireless transmission range from your outdoor sensor to your station is around 330 feet of open air. This does not account for walls, floors, windows, or any other objects that may cause interference. Because of this, we do recommend temporarily putting your sensor in the location you'd like it to be, testing it for a few days to make sure it stays connected, before mounting it permanently. Now before we go, we also wanted to show you how to connect additional sensors to your station and view their data on its separate channels. This station can accommodate up to two additional thermal hygro sensors to be used on channels two and three. These are great for monitoring temperature and humidity from different areas around your home. To set these up, first remove the battery cover from each add-on sensor. Next, set the first add-on sensor to channel two and insert two AA batteries. If you're adding a third sensor, set that one to channel three and also insert two AA batteries. Then on the station, press and hold the temp button for three seconds. This will have it start a search for new sensors. After this, press and release the TX button on each add-on sensor to have them transmit a signal. When connected, the temperature and humidity data from each of the selected channels will appear. To cycle through the channels, press and release the minus button. You'll see these indicated by the channel 1, channel 2, and channel 3 icon with each press of the minus button. But after the connection is established, which should happen within a minute or two, feel free to reconnect the battery covers. It's here where we recommend keeping the sensors within 5 to 10 feet of your wind station for at least 15 minutes. This allows all the parts to establish a strong connection with each other before the sensors get moved elsewhere. If you're wondering how exactly to mount these additional sensors, click the link in the upper right corner of your screen to watch the video. But there you go, you have just gone through the hardest part of setting up and using your new weather station. Don't forget to consult the instruction manual provided in the description below should you have further questions regarding details not covered in this video. But also feel free to comment below with any issues or specific questions you may have. We are here to help you. In the meantime, we hope you enjoy your new professional wind speed weather station. I'm Greg Piesel, here for Lacrosse Technologies Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.